Hello. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Susan. All right, let me see here. Hopefully I can do this a little bit different tonight. All right. I've got my laptop over here that I can also turn into a tablet so that hopefully I can see your comments without having to, oh, I'll sprinkle the creation. Thank you, Cheryl. <clears throat> so that I can see your comments without the screen going dark like it does on the phone or the iPad. So let's see how this works tonight. Learning all of the things. All right, welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is John Norell, and I am with Norell Skin Care, and I'm so glad that you are here tonight. And yes, if you can, spread the love, sprinkle the love, sprinkle the creation. If you haven't already, be sure to um, like my page. You can do that by clicking on the clicking on your screen. Hey, Sherry clicking on your screen and um, tapping the little three dots up in the right hand corner and following me and making sure you're getting notifications for my lives. Y'all, we are going to make such, such a cute project tonight. This sign, so I, I was introduced from another wreath maker uh, to someone who hand paints these signs. So if you've seen my, uh, let's see, I'll show you some of the other ones. here. All right, so if you've seen my Easter wreath with this sign, this is hand painted. Is that not just adorable? So one of these wreaths is actually in my shop right now and it is so cute. And hey Sherry, and then I also have a wreath with this on it. And it's in my shop right now as well. But this shenanigans wreath Y'all, it has like, it sold within a few hours of me putting it on my shop. I remade it, and then the next one sold, sold within a few hours. So I don't know if it's the sign or if it's the burlap that we're going to use tonight. This burlap with this white cotton um, line through it or the ribbon or this wonderful four inch. We're going to play with four inch ribbon tonight, y'all. So we're gonna have some fun with that. Um, this four inch with gold dots and gold lining on the edge of the ribbon. So much fun. So much fun. All right, so we're gonna put our ribbon over here to the side. I just grabbed a lot of the new ribbons. This one, y'all, sometimes ribbon only comes with one end, <laughs> but at least it came with the end um, is this the sign that you do a great job making? Them? I didn't make this sign, Cheryl. Um, I do make signs, uh, but this one, I wish I could hand paint like this, y'all. All of the lettering, uh, all of this is done by hand. Um, everything. It's, it's a beautiful sign. Uh, it's on a piece of wood. And so you can see... Uh, the actual her, her brush strokes and so forth from where she painted it. Um, yeah, no. When I do signs, oh, Mary's in the house. Hey, Mary. Oh, oh. It is a sign that you do a great job making. Oh, oh. Thanks, Cheryl. Oh. I gave you goosebumps. Thank you very much. Mary, we're going to play with four inch ribbon tonight. Four inch ribbon. So much fun. This makes a great base of a bow. The, 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 the base. So that's going to be fun to work with. All right. So first thing we're going to do is get our sign ready. So we're going to take our Gorilla Glue. We're going to take some cable mounts. 
and some hot glue. Get that over here. And if you love tonight's wreath, and if you want to snatch it up before anyone else snatches it up, there is a listing. Oh, speaking of which, let me put that in my... Just a minute, I'm going to put my link and pin it. If I can figure out how to pin it using the laptop. It's probably not going to let me do it on the laptop. Huh. Oh, pin. There we go. It's pinned. I figured it out. Yay. So yeah, so you can actually go ahead and and go to my website and sometimes this laptop doesn't want to act right. There we go. All right, there we go. Ugh, that makes seeing y'all's comments so much easier. Close that. All right. So I know I'm gonna be apply. Uh, attaching this sign in the four corners. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue here. A dot of glue here. A dot of glue over here. And a dot of glue there. And again, we're just adding the, hi, Linda, welcome. We're adding the glue because yes, the, the adhesive on this cable mount probably could hold up just fine, but why not just, you know, that super glue is not expensive. Y'all, every wreath I've made, I have used this super glue for the sign and I've probably had this for several years and I haven't even used half of this bottle yet. So we're talking not even, a tenth of a penny in glue to add some extra protection because like we've said these are going to be outside in the elements we want to make sure nothing happens to the sign how was everyone's day what did y'all do today talk to me tell me all the things I've had a pretty good day. Before I went live, I was watching my friend Mary go live. So if you don't already, make sure you follow her. Her page is called It's a Chalk Thing. It's a Chalk Thing. She is a designer and a crafter. Now I'm just putting the hot glue all around these cable mounts. Doing nothing. Ugh. Some days we just need days like that where we do absolutely nothing. All right, I want to set our sign over here out of the way or over here out of the way maybe out of the way where I don't bump it work clean work some more relaxing now well good I'm glad you're here relaxing with us watching but peeling boiled eggs for a minute well you go with your boiled eggs Oh, Cheryl, why are you in pain? What is going on? Or should I already know this? 
What is going on? So y'all, this is 10 inch poly jute mesh. Um, again, it's got burlap and cotton fibers going through it. So you see a little bit of the white, a little bit of the brown burlap. It smells like burlap. My whole basement is starting to smell like burlap. You try the cold dry. Yeah, I don't get the shaking method. I see a lot of this. I've seen like, you know, if, if y'all did not know this, I sold Tupperware for like 18 years. And people would, you know, put the eggs and so forth in a Tupperware bowl and shake, 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 shake. Doesn't that just beat up the eggs? Don't the eggs just end up in pieces? Ooh. Good for you working on social media. I am I am social media mediating right now, right? Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> Y'all, now that I have all these social accounts, the TikTok, Face, well, obviously I've had Facebook, but I'm doing a lot more with Facebook than I ever have before. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Is that all of them? I mean, not that that's not plenty. Um, it's it's a lot. It it's it's a lot. Um, Instagram is nice. So, like, if if you have a Facebook business page, you can use what's called the Meta Business Suite. And y'all, I'm cutting these at twenty inches. So 10 inch mesh, cutting these at 20 inches. So if you have the Facebook business suite or the meta business suite, and it's free, you just go to your Facebook business page. What's nice is you can actually schedule Facebook and Instagram posts. So that's how I am doing that now. So y'all will see me, my posts go out throughout the day, but I'm scheduling three, four, five days out at a time um, because that's just easier. Um, and so those get scheduled. TikTok, oh, Reels. Reels on, so there's Reels on Instagram. There's Reels on Facebook, which are short videos as you probably watch. And that as a business person, I need to be making. So reels, TikToks. The only one right now to me that's daunting is this Pinterest. Y'all, I've never been a Pinterest person. Um, I don't really understand it. I'm learning it. But you were supposed to be doing like 10 to 12 pins a day. Whew. I'm barely understanding why I would pin one thing, much less 10 or 12 things a day. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Your shoulder is killing you. Now your tummy. Cheryl, what's going on? It sounds like stress. Are you, are you dealing with a lot of stress right now? It will if you shake it too hard. I put in two eggs and it helps peel them. Hmm. I started doing my eggs in my Instapot, which I don't have the actual Instapot. I have the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker, I think it's called, uh, that, I, that I actually, I do love. And if you do them in there, they just peel perfectly and very easily. And y'all, since we're doing 18 of these, remember we're just gonna use the whole roll. So I don't have to worry about uh, counting and talking. Yeah, I mean, so 
you know, the concept is that, you know, people will go to your Pinterest and they'll fall in love with, like, obviously I'm pinning my wreaths, but then um, I need to start pinning other things that I make. And then you start sharing pins to your boards. And it's just part of creating your brand. I've just got to start reading more about Pinterest and getting on Pinterest and um, just getting a better understanding of what it is. You have three tears in your shoulder. Cheryl, I have been there, girl. After the first two years of taking care of Larry, I ended up with three slap tears in my right shoulder. And I had to have my shoulder rebuilt. Um, it was a very long, frustrating process. But the doctor here in Louisville, Dr. Krupp, he has a he had a, like this very unique way of doing it. He um, completely takes the, I'll show you on my shoulder here for a second. So you've got these muscles here on your arm that connect up here to your shoulder. So my muscles no longer cross over. He took the muscles from up here, moved them, and they're just here. So it weakened my shoulder, so I can't really lift very heavy things anymore or lift heavy, thing, or lift heavy things above my head. Um, but it greatly increased or decreased my healing time. And overall, it gives you a much better outcome long term from the surgery. So, uh, I mean, and then the place that... and. The rehab is also very important where you choose for your rehab. And the place that I chose for my rehab happened to be wonderful. Uh, I shouldn't have been able to drive for about, I don't know, six to eight months typically from a surgery like that. And I was driving within three weeks. So where you do your rehab, if you end up having to have surgery, I'm not saying you have to have surgery, but that's what I had. I had three tears in my shoulder from doing all the lifting. So we've got another 15 inch elevated wreath frame. Hmm. Well, friend, hopefully you'll, you know, you let's see, you see your specialist, um, you know, Talk to different people. That's kind of what I did. I talk, found some people to talk to, um, and they recommended. Dr. Krupp came highly recommended uh, here in Louisville for that technique that he did. And if I ever have to have any other orthopedic surgeries, I hope I can. I hope he's still here and around because I don't know if he was. He was a very, very, very good surgeon. All right, so we're going to ruffle. Every day we're ruffling. Right, just going up the middle, bringing 
the mesh in towards me as I use my finger and in, my thumb and index fingers to pinch. And start on the bottom row. Put the mesh in all the way to the wire. Twist, twist. Make sure the top two are touching. Make sure the bottom two are touching. All right. Ruffle some more. For some reason, well, I know the reason, but oh, I have been tired all day. Okay, y'all. So if y'all remember from last night, Darren went to Kroger and could not find my creamer. So he's actually off from work today and tomorrow because he ha he is maxing out his paid time off, his PTO. And so at Humana, you either use it or lose it. So because we never get to go on vacations, really, um, we don't, you know, you don't use it. I mean, if you work from home and you don't take vacations or at least we don't get two together, um, then you just build up all this vacation that you don't use. So we usually, he'll usually take staycations. So he's off today and tomorrow. So today we found out that a friend of ours kid has COVID and they needed some, well, they needed some testing kits and we had already ordered our testing kits from the government and already had ours. So he took those over to our friend for them to test themselves to see if anybody else in the family has COVID. Um, or maybe just to test the other, the other kids. So while he was out today, he went to several different places and found my creamer. So I have creamer now, y'all. It's like a Christmas miracle because I did not have creamer and I did not have Starbucks caramel macchiato iced coffee because I didn't have any of that either. And so um, my options this morning were no coffee or Starbucks. So he went and got me Starbucks since he was off and I was working. But I just only got the one coffee today instead of the three I usually have. So I've been a little run down or a little tired yawning all day. I have also, well, this is four or five nights in a row of staying up late. Y'all, this is late for me. I, my normal bedtime is like 8.30. So by the time I get off of here, because I, I work in our IT job, usually until seven. Doing stuff with it. And then, um, oh good, we didn't get your kitchen, oh good. Yeah, make sure you go to the, I don't know what the website is, maybe somebody can post it in here, but there's a website you can go and order your four free testing kits from the government. And they come pretty fast. I mean, ours were here within, I feel like three or four days. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was just talking about. Oh, so, so when I get off of here with y'all, I'm usually kind of like, woohoo, it's exciting, I loved it, it was fun. So then I end up staying up. So I've been staying up till, till midnight or after. Thanks, Crystal. Hi, by the way. How are you and your mom? 
y'all Crystal and I have known each other for a long, long time. Like, oh, 2002? We used to sell Tupperware together. Yeah, now that, like, my creative business and our technology business is going, um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of work. But, you know, it's like, hopefully all of y'all have jobs where you're doing stuff that you just absolutely love. So it doesn't, you know, feel like a job, like, oh, my nine to five. Um Darren and I have always done stuff that we love to do, so it never feels like work. Oh, that's wonderful, Janice. You're so welcome. Oh, good, Crystal. I'm glad y'all are doing good. I see your Instagrams um, and all your cruises and stuff that you take and all the fun that you get to have. So this is what's called a 15 to 25, 15 dash 25 inch elevated work form. Linda, so what we do, Darren and I are consultants in a way. So we work with companies, uh, it's called EDI, Electronic Data Interchange. And so the way I like to explain it is if company A wants to talk to company B, but both companies are on different systems. So then when company A, if company A were to just send company B a file, company B would not be able to read that file because they're on different systems. So it's like, it's like if company A was a PC and company B was a Mac. Well, what Darren and I do is we're in the middle. So what we do is we take the file from company A, let's say a PC file, and we convert it into, let's say, company B's PC or Mac format. And we do that back and forth. And that happens tens of thousands of times to, throughout the day. So part of my day is maybe setting up new companies, setting up new types of files, or troubleshooting files that have gone sideways, let's say. Um, but with the nature of our business, a file could go sideways at two o'clock in the morning and we have alerts and stuff in place so that we're alerted and we're up and we're uh, on, the, on the job, you know, getting that file fixed. Um, a lot of what we do are called advanced ship notices. What is a good cutter? I've been using scissors and not liking the fraying. I use just a Fiskars rotary cutter. Um, there's also a rotary cutter at shoplightjohn.com. Uh, it's very similar to this one. It's pink. That's the only reason why I don't have it is because it's pink. <laughs> like, um, so I, I, I've, I had this Fiskars from... Um, just in general, but, uh, I like it. I mean, it, it works fine. And then I know that if this blade got dull, I should be able to go anywhere and find, uh, find a, um, replacement. But the rotary cool definitely makes things a lot easier than just using scissors. So one of the type, one of the type files that we do and to me, this is interesting because my um, dad was in, well, he had where he had uh, distribution centers. And so I know a little bit about this from that life, but um, are called, they're called advanced ship notices. So no different than like when you get that something has shipped from UPS or FedEx or the post office. That's also called an advanced ship notice, letting you know that, hey, something shipped, and here's when the delivery date is. Well, that's the same thing that happens in manufacturing. So what happens is 
the place that will be sending the shipment sends, so company A has all these goods they're going to ship to company B. Well, that advance ship notice is very important. And if company B gets that semi-truck, the semi-truck shows up at company B, and that advance ship notice is not there, what that advance ship notice does is allows company B to scan one of those pallets and everything from that truck goes into their system. Well, if they can't scan and know exactly what's on that truck, well, that semi truck can't unload. And if that semi truck can't unload, that means that driver is just sitting there wasting time. And that means that shipping company is their time's being wasted. And that causes penalties to happen. So, it's very important that those files get to where they're supposed to go when they're supposed to be there. And y'all know all that manufacturing and trucking and all that runs 24 seven. So for our IT job, it's a 24 seven, 365 kind of thing. But it's fun, we enjoy it. It's neat knowing that we're in that part of the world too, helping, helping businesses. Do their business. So that's where I'm a little bit of an oddball. Most creatives aren't highly technical people, and most highly technical people aren't creatives. And I'm a little bit of both. Yep. Our whole house was painted with Sherman Williams paint. We had our house repainted a few years ago and the painters that we used, that's what they recommended. So that's what we went with. Sherman Williams. And the manager at the Sherman Williams store is very nice to me because anytime I go in to buy paint, he's just like, oh, that's right. You're with such and such company and just gives me their discount. Yeah, Ulfa is similar. I think it's like the competitor to Fiskars, right? Because I know they have mats and <laughs> your computer challenge. Yes, I I can make it through technology probably quicker than the average person, but I get you know stuff like on things like our life revolves around Larry work, of course, and then now my creative business making reads and other things. And so there, I'm not out in the world doing crazy fun things. And so, you know, it's hard to imagine for these short videos, like for the TikTok or for the reels um, or for Pinterest. Pinterest, I guess I can figure out more stuff, but all these short videos, like what exactly is going on in this house day to day? that anybody in their right mind really wants to know about. <laughs> I mean, like coming on live, I get, I can talk to y'all. Y'all can talk to me. It's you know interactive. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying getting to know you all. But, you know, I enjoy getting lost in TikTok, but I'm watching silly stuff people being silly and uh, different people cooking um, you know animals doing funny things people catching it on camera kids doing funny things and catching it on camera that kind of stuff doesn't happen around here 
I mean, you know, to me, exciting is someone does a little laundry, it gets folded and put up. <laughs> and if all three of those things happen in the same day, <laughs> that's like, I mean, I mean, that's like Christmas morning. I don't even have even TV shows to talk to y'all. Well, Darren and I did watch the latest episode of Boba Fett. Crystal, are you watching Boba Fett on Disney Plus? I know you're a sci-fi geek like we are. Last night was a season finale. It was so good. Anybody else into science fiction? It was good. You're going to watch the season finale or you're going to watch the whole series? Oh, the whole series. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. We've really enjoyed it. Now I'm just ready for the Mandalorian to come back. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I watched that y'all might watch. This is the way, girl. This is the way. When we got our 3D printer, um, that was the first thing that I printed was a Mandalorian, all the different characters and the words, this is the way, really tall. It's really, it's really neat. And put it on my top of my credenza on my desk. So we're just making ruffles, making ruffles. And I forgot to make sure all of my ruffles kissed. So I'm gonna have to go back through and get all my ruffles kissing. Kissing or bookmarked. I have not seen Mountain Monsters. I feel like we started watching Good Omens. I feel like we did. I don't know off the top of my head if we continued it. I don't remember if we both liked it. We also watch Discovery and Picard. Those are the shows we watch together, including the news. And then he has his shows, and I have my shows. So, obviously, I watch sci-fi. Um, I watch a lot of documentary-type stuff. I'm just... I just love to learn. So, I watch a lot of documentaries. 
lots of what I like to watch documentary type series like The Crown. Thought I cut one extra, but I didn't. Just enough. Like I just finished watching. I forget what channel or what I think it was on Prime The Eyes of Tammy Faye about Jim and Tammy Faye Baker it was really good I'm working on I have it recorded or we use TiVo we have TiVos so I have it TiVo the Marilyn Monroe series on CNN I've watched the first episode I still have I don't know, there's several more episodes to watch. Um, saving my free paramount plus draw for one strange new world that's going to help. Ooh, strange new worlds. What's strange new world supposed to be about? All right, so I'm gonna go back through and make sure all of my mesh, the ends are butted up next, up against each other. It just pushes the ruffles out and makes them, makes them prettier. I love watching Home Again on HGTV with Ben and Aaron from Laurel, Mississippi, because that's where I'm from, is Mississippi. I'm not from Laurel, but I've been to Laurel. I love watching Shark Tank. I've watched every episode in every season. Some of them more than once. Darren and I are constantly thinking about, oh, if we would have thought of that. Design on a Dime. I don't know if I ever watched that. I don't watch a lot of HGTV. I like Ben and Aaron. I like, um, oh, the lady in Chicago. Oh, I forget the name of her show. Charm City? Charm City? City Charm? Something like that. All right, so we got that done. Let's put our next thing will be our sign. We need some pipe cleaners or some Chanel stems. Four of these. So this is the fun part. Remember, y'all. Putting on the sign. Twisting these on. Y'all, we started talking about science fiction. Everyone left. <laughs> I know it's not the most popular thing. I don't watch... Um, I don't watch, like, The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or... Um, crime... I mean, if I'm watching a crime thing, it's it's gonna have to it's gonna have to be like something on Netflix that is like a you know a series. Um, Darren and I just watched about this guy who was uh, scamming women out of money. He was making them fall in love with him, and he actually had like all these different women, and he was convincing them that he was some. Diamond 
person in the diamond industry, and I don't know. It was something else. It was on. It was on Netflix. We we watch a lot of streaming. And then we have the TV. Larry obviously watches TV throughout the day. We don't watch a lot of stuff on um, TV TV. We have Prime, Netflix, Paramount, Discovery, and Disney. So if you're just joining us, we're making a St. Patrick's Day wreath. This is a hand-painted sign. It says, this house runs on love and shenanigans. It's on a 15-inch wreath base. Our mesh is 10-inch polyjute mesh. Cut it 20 inches. Oh, that's one that I'm, I, I think Darren and I would really like. I, I don't, I watch the British shows that come to Netflix. Um, and I watch most of the British shows that are on PBS. Because uh, we do pay for KET. So we get um, the PBS streaming. Because we get that through our paid membership to KET. Um, all right, so let's make a bow. Uh, I see the British TV shows advertised for BritBox, like on, on Facebook and so forth. I think we would really like BritBox. All right, so four inch mesh up until about, a, I guess a month ago, I would have never, I would have been afraid of four inch mesh. And y'all, there's five inch, I mean ribbon, not mesh, but four inch ribbon. There's five and six inch ribbon uh, I've seen as I've been shopping. So we're gonna have this at the bottom of the base of our um, bow. So I'm gonna go out about 10 inches. We're gonna pinch it, we're gonna twist it, we're gonna lay it down. All right, pull some of this out. We're gonna pinch it. I'm gonna do about a seven inch loop. We're gonna twist it. Let that hold it for us. Come over here. Do another seven inch loop. Pinch it. We don't have to twist it since we're just coming right back out for the uh. all right so that is going to be the base of our bow and then I think I'm going to come in with this isn't this pretty it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it Our sign's got different greens in it, so why not pull different greens into our bow? And 
need some different patterns. I learned today watching in our creative coaching group from Coach Jordan. Y'all, he makes some amazing stuff. And so he was teaching us all about making half bow. They're called half bows. So you're basically making as if just this part of the bow and then just with the tails. And he was putting together some crazy patterns. But he was teaching us, like, you can do that. There's no, you know, there. I guess maybe a long time ago or you kind of would not do put thing to put or you wouldn't put certain patterns against each other but now with just so many different styles of ribbon and styles of mesh you really have a lot more options to do so this this is called scalloped edge ribbon or as coach tammy calls it Fancy panty ribbon. <laughs> so I really like this ribbon. So I'm going to add a little bit of it. It's just a pretty ribbon. Gotta get some more of this. So what I like to do is I'll just keep the top of my spool and then I put it in my little basket and that way I know to go online and find it and order some more. Alright, and then I think I'm gonna bring in this black and white. Crystal, you can go to shop like John, S H O P L I K E J O H N, shoplikejohn.com. It's my affiliate link to Deco Exchange. Um, I get most of my materials from Deco Exchange. But then we have a local place uh, here, Benjamin Franklin Crafts that I like to go to. There's also another local place here that I go to called um, uh, K&L Link, I think is the name of it. It's a wholesale, so you have to have a business license to go to their place. Then I think we'll finish with this uh, Argyle. Ooh, it's velvety. Different texture. save those for another project. All right, so I'm just pushing down on my bow. 
Let me get a pipe cleaner out. Position down on the center of it. I'll get my hands here out from an, out to the bottom of it. Pinch, push up. Grab this. Don't let the layers separate. Push, push, push. Get our Welcome back, Mary. Finishing up our bow. Get it really, really tight. All right, move our bow maker. And I'm just gonna put this right here at the bottom of here. Looking for that other Chanel stamp. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. They like to do that sometimes. All right, just gonna secure this down. Bow is. Let's get our so there's that four inch ribbon. So pretty, y'all. Fancy panty ribbon or our scalloped edge. A pretty, such a pretty bow. St. Patrick's Day colors are are so much fun to work with. this. I'm just going to curl up. This one and a half inch is so cute curled up. It's cute curled up if it's got a really strong wire. So that's the good thing about buying good ribbon is you want ribbon that's going to have a really strong wire in it so that you know if you need it to you need that ribbon to be able to hold its own pointing up to the sky. Y'all, if you need like the most incredible pair of scissors, these scissors are at shopwhitejohn.com with Deco Exchange. And they're, I mean, they are super, super sharp. I'm still healing from my little first encounter with them, but they are incredible scissors. But they're definitely the kind of scissors that like, okay, this is gonna be my ribbon cutting scissors, or this is gonna be my fabric cutting scissors. Um, so I, I have a couple of different pairs for different reasons, for different needs now, because uh, I, I just, I really like them. They're really, really good scissors. What do y'all think? You like the bow? 
And it looks great. Very happy with these ribbon choices. Thanks, Linda. Hi, Judy. Welcome. All right, y'all. Now we have some ribbon tails to make. And for this one, I'm going to do 13 inch ribbon tails. Oh, that looks really good. Not the sign. Um, just so this sign, Crystal, uh, I didn't make the sign. I have someone that makes them for me. And um, she probably wouldn't be too happy if I was just selling the sign. <laughs> but no. So but you can buy the wreath. And then you'll have the sign. All right. Let's see. What do we want to do? Let's do ribbon tails. I think ribbon tails. If I want to go solid green, that's a little much. I want to do one of the ribbon tails. Maybe those two. Yeah, I think I'll do those two. Do the solid. We got a light one in the bow. Anybody have any exciting plans coming up for the weekend? Oh, that's nice. I would have a six or nine hour drive to have dinner with my family. Going to Atlanta to see two of our granddaughters and have lunch. Ooh, nice. I was in Atlanta in October for a little craft conference. And that's where I got to meet Mary and Maria for the first time. Linda, do you, I guess you live near Atlanta or we already talked about that? 
or were you, I guess, were you and Mary, is that what you and Mary were talking about the other night? Oh, Crystal, there are tons of crafting conferences. Tons. Uh, the one that Mary and I went to in Atlanta um, was with Chalk Couture. She and I are both designers with Chalk Couture. So um, it's like Tupperware, like going to a Tupperware thing, but it was with Chalk Couture. I am going to a crafters convention this summer called called crafters convention <laughs> CC crafters convention. Um, I was able to get a ticket even after it was sold out. I'll get to meet a lot of my coaches and mentors and see a lot of the people that I watch now. I'll get to see them live in person. Um, it was quite expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. Dovetailing these ribbon tails. You should, Linda. Um, it was sold out, and then I guess Scott Waterman, I guess, is who puts that on. I think I could be wrong. It could be somebody else. But um, then I guess they opened it back up and Coach Tammy, well, I was on a live with her and she was like, John Norrell, you better go to Crafters Convention. And so I went and got a ticket using the six payment plan. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, okay, as long as I just make enough, you know, each month that will, you know, cover the, that payment for that convention. Then I'm not staying at the convention hotel because those, um, those rooms were 600 plus dollars a night. And I went, nope. I'll drive and I will find a nearby Hilton that I can use some points with. I don't have 660 something dollars a night hotel kind of money. <laughs> And this is where, to me, like, this is a little excessive on the time. 
So I know I'm not coming back into this twist or this tie or whatever. So I'm actually going to cut this down using my snips. And then I will bend these over. I just think it gives it a better finished look. See that versus having these really long sticking out. Hello, come here, John. So in our ribbon tails. If you're still looking for a Valentine's Day wreath, I know it's getting a little late in terms of um, getting it put up, but I've got several still in my shop, and right now they're 15% off. And I've also got some Valentine's shelf sitters, wooden shelf sitters that I made. They're also 15% off in my shop. And my shop link is pinned down there at the bottom of the comments. Or you can just go to www.jnorellcreations.com. Two R's, two L's. All I'm doing is just laying the one and a half inch ribbon on top of the two and a half inch ribbon. Going up right in the center. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Bend. Separate our ribbon tails. So snip, snipping these off, kind of how we did last night on the pancake wreath. All right, let's put our 
tails on down here on the bottom row. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Right, let's find our ties. Sometimes these are a little harder to find because the ties blend in so well with the mesh. I know Linda crafts, I know Mary crafts. Crystal, do you craft at all? Oh, you make fabric wreaths. Oh, those are really pretty. I've seen some of those. That's really cool. I do, Judy. I made a pancake style wreath last night. So if you uh, go to my live from last night, I made a, uh, we made a spring, happy spring with a gnome pancake style wreath last night. I have, Linda. Uh, I've got four, five, one, uh, four or five Easter wreaths in my shop right now. I've sold one, one or two so far. I'm still making, um, 
the reason why I'm still making St. Patrick's Day is, well, obviously I'm just got started, so in the business, so um, it took me a little while to get St. Patrick's Day supplies in, but I um, I bought six more of these signs since those other two sold so well, so I've got six of these to get made. Um, I want to get them made today and or tomorrow and Saturday and get them listed since you know our time is running short I've even got patriotic over here to start making as well but I've also been I've also made a few every day the two farmhouse wreaths Yeah, I guess a lot of people's homes run on love and shenanigans. <laughs> I guess if you have kids, you've got all kinds of shenanigans going on. Really? I think that would be so much fun. I don't know if I have told y'all yet, but I taught for 15 years, was a college teacher and professor, and I have degrees in training and development and education and higher education administration. And so I... That's part of what is fun about doing the Facebook Lives now is it's like being back in a classroom. You know, I'm teaching y'all how to do what I do, which is fun. But I think, yep, yeah, at MTSU, at Delta State University, and at University of Louisville, But yeah, the, I think the wreath classes would be so much fun. Go True Blue, that's right. Darren and I both have degrees from MTSU. Wonderful school. Great memories there. As a undergrad student, as a grad student. Then I worked there. That is awesome, Judy. That just makes me so excited, because I, I mean, only I guess I know you. Mel's done classes, and now, and now I know you've done classes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's so much that we're gonna be able to get back to doing once the COVID dies back down. Oh yeah, that would be fun at the senior center to do some classes. Well, y'all, here's our wreath tonight. Ah, oh, it's so cute. 
I don't know. There's just something about St. Patrick's Day that's so much fun and whimsical and love the colors. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to say good night. I'm going to get something to eat and probably watch the news. Go see my David Muir on the ABC Evening News. I like. I mean, who, if you if you know who David Muir is, what's not what's not to like? <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Susan, Linda, Crystal, Judy, Mary. If you're still here. All right, y'all. Be blessed and have a wonderful night. All right. Bye bye.